When struck with the phrase virtual, our minds may wander to a few places, most likely virtual reality AVR, or, with the advent of COVID virtual meetings, virtual reality. Well, if your mind is in these places, you're not wrong. The term in computing does refer to something that does not exist physically but is made tangible by computer software. I think that it is beginning to make sense. As you may have seen your kids play computer games with their friends who aren't even there or with people they do not even know who may be halfway across the world. You may have created your avatars in games and even played with your friends. Now you can see that the idea of the virtual world is not complicated. And I can also tell you that this guide is tailored just for you. To get the right perspective of the virtual world, you need to understand the term metaverse. As I stated earlier, while defining the term virtual, the entire concept is about creating a universe that simulates the real world. Essentially, it is like having the same world you live in created with endless possibilities, like having a race with your son in London and dinner with your wife in San Francisco, all from your couch in Japan. So, what exactly is the metaverse? Okay, so first of all, we have to look closely at the word metaverse by breaking it down. Two words make up this phrase. The first one is a meta, which means beyond, and the second word is a universe which we know as all the physical matter in the galaxy, stars, etc. The term metaverse was first used in a 1992 fiction novel called Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. The novel is set in a dystopian universe, particularly in virtual reality. You may have also come across the new Matrix Resurrections, which depict the Matrix as a simulated reality. What about the metaverse? I am sure this is looming across your mind as you read through. Now I can answer that in one sentence or go ahead and explain to you why we have been talking about this whole metaverse and the entire concept of the virtual world. There are a few terms I would love you to get acquainted with as we get on this flight. There is an interesting cross-reality popularly known as extended reality, XR, that brings together related technologies in the metaverse, which are augmented reality, AR, mixed reality, MR, and virtual reality, a VR. Like I said earlier, I am sure many of my readers may have played a virtual reality IVR game before and have seen how it brings different environments to life. The VR is part of the metaverse as it presents an artificial slash simulated environment. The AR incorporates real-time user interaction with the real and virtual worlds with a precise presentation in 3D of both virtual and real objects. The MISTER combines augmented reality and virtual reality to produce a more efficient immersion. So in one sentence, I would say that the metaverse is the future. Now, look at it this way, some decades ago, if you sent your son to school in Oxford while you lived in Auckland, you wouldn't even know the changes he had had physically. But then Web 2.0 came along and transformed the way information was being shared. Look at it as bringing the internet to life. Going through Instagram, whatever you can see is two-dimensional, but the metaverse brings it in three dimensions. The metaverse focuses on a digital world like a copy of our physical universe. Everyone can be immersed in and become full participants through our digital avatars. Virtual worlds and the future? When you look back at the possibilities we have had with the advent of Web 2.0, one may say, well, so much has been achieved and quite frankly, so, but still has its limitations. For example, it is centralized and owned by big tech companies. Take, for instance, you're playing a video game, maybe like a car race, and you have won lots of money. Still, you cannot transfer this digital money you have on the game to the real economy. Web 3.0, the future, includes a decentralized system in which users control their virtual world, allowing them to own digital assets, trade them, and transfer them to the real-world economy. This goes beyond simply owning digital assets. The virtual world has everything you could imagine, such as concerts, museums, and art galleries where you could walk in and purchase digital art. You can create virtual love games and fantasies with different characters suited to your taste. Cryptocurrency and the Metaverse Having seen all of the possibilities in the new virtual world and I mentioned that you could walk and purchase some artwork, or even have your favorite musician perform in a concert, this should pose the question of how I engage in all of these transactions, right? I mean, I am creating an avatar to interact with this place. For example, do I hand in my dollar bill when I want to transact? Before I answer that, I want to introduce you to a term called non-fungible token, NFT. They are special computer codes that represent digital assets, items, and this makes each one different from the other. They may be digital forms of physical collections or purely digitally created, so the artwork in your living room can be an NFT. Another one you should get familiar with is Decentraland. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. 
You did great. Now let us look at a scenario. The environment you live in, your city, and all these massive structures that had to be built on land they acquired. Since our virtual world has all the features of the universe and more, it is not far-fetched to have land to build on. Now you see how real this virtual world is. So Decentraland was open to users in 2020, and many people have developed on their parcels of land, from dynamic 3D creations to big billboards. It presents a virtual reality platform backed by the Ethereum blockchain, and here, almost anything you can imagine is possible. Decentraland uses two tokens, a denomination and unit of the tradable asset that is resident in a blockchain, the mana, fungible, and the land, non-fungible. As previously stated, users can buy lands, develop them, and sell these creations. In other words, you can be your own Warren Buffet in the virtual world. So here in the metaverse, services are offered and exchanges made with cryptocurrency. With these assets, you can also have your say in the votes for the economy and governance. On a final note, the metaverse does not take away our universe. Still, it goes beyond it. Everyone can enjoy the endless opportunities that come with it. It is an ecosystem meant to transform our interactions, opening up cryptocurrency economies in an advanced way. As a beginner, there is no better time than now. Come on board. It's a boundless world where all possibilities of virtual reality dwell. Metaverse is the future of the internet. You will do well as being an early adopter in the emerging virtual world.